it is important that also when you do uh, the, the rules, don't forget factorization. At times you will need to factorize some problems to make life easier. And usually your, the one that you need to factorize, it will, it will give you an indication. So I've got these three. I, I, can't, I, I, I can't differentiate this to be 2x, to be 1, and this to be 0. But it's not going to assist me with, with my denominator. So my g of x, I must be able to see that this is a trinomial and that can be factorized. Remember that my denominator is x minus 1, which is very crucial. So it means that I've got to have the same thing on top. I track, I check if I can't have x minus 1 on top so that it will cancel out. So I've got x and x, factors of, what, of that one. Factors of 2, it is 2 and 1. To get positive there, the bigger one must be positive, this one must be negative. As I do that, it's, I'm, 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 I'm able to solve my denominator easily. That divides there once, and I'm left with that one. I'm left with g of x equals to x plus 2. Now I can find g of x prime. g of x prime is then equals to... If I differentiate this, it will be equals to 1. If I differentiate this, it will be equals to 0. Remember, if, if, if I'm differentiating x, what is the value here? It is 1. What is the value there? It is 1. So if I say, so dy dx will be equals to 1, this one, times this one, times x to the power 1 minus 1. What is 1 minus 1? It is 0. So this will be 1 times 1, it will be 1, x to the power 0. What is any number to the power 0? It is 1. So whenever I'm differentiating a value like this one, the answer will always be 1. So this will be 1 plus 2. This becomes the answer. How do you differentiate 2? 2 is the same as 2x to the power 0. Any number to the power 0 is 1. So if I say 0 times anything, it will be 0. That's why that becomes a 0.